Hello, I'm Austin Wilson, co-portfolio manager at Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. And I am Chase Rose, associate wealth advisor here at Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. Why are we here today, Austin? We're here to provide you a market and economic update for the month of October, looking back at the month of September. All right. So as we usually do, Mm -hmm. the markets, of course, got to start with that. U-G-L-Y. They ain't got no alibi. What does that spell? They ugly. (laughs) So uh, September market performance was less than fun. Mm -hmm. This is historically pretty common for September to be a weaker month, but just pretty weak. So here's some numbers. S&P 500 down. You're going to get a theme here. Mm -hmm. Down 5.04%. Down. Dow Jones Industrial Average down Down. 3.82%. NASDAQ Composite down 5.79%. Small caps down 7.07%. Small caps down big. Yeah. Uh, Developed International down 3.83%. Emerging Markets down 3.34%. And Bonds down. Wow. 2.08%. So uh, not such a favorable month. But we have had quite the rally in the first two quarters Mm -hmm. and even the beginning of the third quarter. So we're due for some sort of little pause, but it wasn't necessarily the most fun. Yeah, sure wasn't. Um, So our first news story for the month of September is a follow-up from a news article from last month. So Joshua Robb mentioned that there was a spotless giraffe spotted at a Tennessee zoo and yet another spotless giraffe was spotted in Namibia. 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 No idea where that's at, but they found one there. So the spotless They're giraffe. They're catching on. The spotless giraffe is not alone. Yeah. Man. That is a He's got a friend. Everywhere. He's got a friend. He does. Everyone needs a friend. Absolutely. Mine's Chase. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, inflation. We talk about it a lot, mostly because it's very important to what's going on in our current world. A lot of times it kind of works in the background and you don't think about it a lot. Mm-hmm. But right now it's in the front of everyone's minds. It crept up again for the second consecutive month with headline CPI coming in at 3.67% year over year. That's been increasing for a couple months. In June, I believe it was at its lowest that we've seen in some time at about 3%. So that's a little bit higher. When you take out food and energy, which is more volatile on its own, core CPI is what that's called. That fell for the fifth consecutive month. So that is good. Fell to 4.35% year over year, which is still too hot for the Fed. The Fed's really looking for about 2 But more to come Mm. on the Fed in a moment. Yeah. It's almost expected the inflation to start creeping up a little bit, though, based on last year's number. It is. There is a base base scenario roll-off where you're looking back one year to some really high numbers. Once those really high numbers start coming down, it gets harder to Mm -hmm. go down. Of course. Of course. Um, New story number two. So the Coast Guard Guard recently arrested a man who was attempting to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It's a big body of think, water. You might think that's normal, but this man was attempting to do it in a hamster wheel made from buoys and wire. And oddly enough, it was pro- so it was propelled by the guy who was running inside oh, yeah. like a legitimate hamster wheel. This was not the first time he was arrested doing this. This is number four, the fourth time. First in 2014, 2016, 2021, and now 2023. So we are sensing a pattern here. So my question is, why is this illegal? I mean, so he was arrested um, around the time where the hurricane was posing a threat to uh, Florida. Okay. And so he was arrested. Was he looking to get a little to, extra boost <laughs> from the storm? Potentially. I don't think he was aware of the dangers that were, uh, you know, ex- that he was exposed to. So were there be no storm? Were, if there were no storm, maybe he would be allowed to. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think he's necessarily doing anything illegal. But Except for being he's an idiot. very unsafe. <laughs> and he, he made the point, though. He said people... Crossing the ocean in a boat is normal. It's expected. Yeah. He said doing it in a bubble or a hamster wheel, unexpected. I, I would say it's unexpected. Which, and really cool is also what he said. So, hey, well, we're power to him. Hey, all right. Maybe to when he does it again in yeah. a couple of years, <laughs> we'll get another update. Yep. Uh, so we talked about the Fed a little bit, but number three is the Fed. Mm-hmm. The Fed paused for the second time this tightening cycle in September And odds are really split as to whether or not we will have a hike in November. Uh, As of the most recent jobs report, which was exceptionally strong, and it came out on the 6th of of October, it seems like you might still get a 25 basis point or one quarter of 1% hike in November. Um, But if something turns and things look a little bit weaker, they may be done either way. One or zero interest rate hikes remaining in this cycle is kind of where we are Mm. for peak. So it's looking like, the vast majority of interest rate hikes and tightening is done 
and we're going to let things ride the Fed. We, I'm going to say the Fed. The Fed's going to let things ride for a while and slow down the economy, hopefully to bring down that inflation that we talked about just a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, number three. So scientists recently released a horde of crabs off the coast of Florida to save the coral reefs. That's good. Now, basically how that works is algae hurts coral. Crabs eat algae. So crabs to the rescue, right? Crabs to the rescue. Interesting fact. A group of crabs is known as a what? You just told me before a we ca- got down here. A cast. A cast so basically of crabs. The, the headline is <laughs> scientists are casting a cast to That's save so coral funny. reefs. Cast away. Uh, cast away. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, <clears throat> kind of in conjunction with all of the hotter economic day than we'd like, with the Fed being hawkish in terms of increasing interest rates, yields. Yields have gone a bit crazy. Uh, and the market is bracing for a Fed holding interest rates higher for longer policy stance than we've seen in some time. And uh, this will probably lead to, and it has through through year to date through the end of the third quarter, led to fixed income or bonds being down for the second year in a row, which is very rare that that happens. Um, so it's, it's actually rare. not happened since the 80s. Yeah, it's rare that it happens one time. It's rare that it happens one time. It's really rare that it happens two years in a row, but it is likely if things look uh, stay the way they are right now, we're going to get another year of bonds being down, and that's because yields are up. And economic news is good, inflation's hot, and the Fed is hawkish. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Number four, so Netflix has officially ended their DVD service. That's a bummer. After 25 years in the business, which is really what built their business to what it is today, um, there were still 1 million active DVD customers. And so as their going away gift, they let them keep all of their rented DVDs. So I guess that was a little going away present, but definitely an end of an era for Netflix. Funny. You're seeing all of these DVD stores go out of business, whether it be Family Video, yeah. Blockbuster, you know, Netflix eliminating the DVD service strictly online from here on here's a question so when is the last time you watched a dvd Ooh, that's a great question it's been probably at least five years i i know that it's been at least a year or so for me i have probably 20 dvds Mm -hmm. and i have a dvd player that i don't even have plugged in Mm -hmm. because why anymore it's just all streamed so i get why netflix is doing this yeah there was a long time where that was the way you watched movies. Absolutely. But we have changed things. Yeah. And I'm I'm even to the point where I have DVD movies, but I have nothing to watch them on. So I just, you go on your TV what, and you find yeah, it on It's so inconvenient and, to have a disc. I know, right? I just don't have a, a device to yeah. plug it into. So. If you need to borrow a DVD player, I'll hook you uh, up. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Fifth and final thing I'm going to talk about, a government shutdown was temporarily averted in Washington at the last hour. Uh, it did, however, cost Kevin McCarthy his job as he made some concessions that uh, a lot of people of the Republican Party, where he was the Speaker of the House, which had the majority of, were not super thrilled with. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it it did cost Kevin his job, but the government is now open for a couple more months <laughs> with a stopgap funding bill. Hey, must be worth it to him. Another couple, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, all right, last news story. So, Costco, um, very popular store, very popular Love stock, Costco. Uh, you know, is the go-to store for millions of customers uh, nationwide for items in bulk, including me, gold bars. Oh, not are you are you buying gold bars? No, but I'm a Costco. I love my I love me some Costco. <laughs> okay. I did see the Costco gold bars. Yeah. So Costco has begun selling 24 karat gold bars on their website only yeah. for about $1,900 a pop. Each time they release the gold bars as being available on their website, they sell out within a few hours and are even limited per customer, two bars per customer. Wow. So with limiting the availability to each person, they're still selling out almost immediately. What is Costco going to do next? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> In the precious metals, who knows what they're going to do? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Maybe gonna... hamster wheels. Hamster wheels could be it. Giraffes? Yeah, I don't know. We'll spot, have to. We'll have spotless to, giraffes? Spots or... for the spotless giraffes. <laughs> That's a good one. With right? their friends. A little change, right. of, change of uh, costume there. Yeah. Me, so. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for listening. Please remember, nothing we talked about today is a recommendation. But if you have any questions about your financial situation, please feel free to give us a call at 419-425-2400 or email us at hello at hzcapital.com. And until next month, from Chase and Austin, have a great month. See ya. Bye.
Josh Robb and Austin Wilson work for Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. All opinions expressed by Josh, Austin, or any guest are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. This is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for investment decisions. Clients of Hicks and Zerker Capital Management may maintain positions in the securities discussed. There is no guarantee that the statements, opinions, or forecasts provided herein will prove to be correct. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. Indices are not available for direct investment. Any investor who attempts to mimic the performance of an index would incur fees and expenses, which would reduce returns. Securities investing involves risk, including the potential for loss of principal. There is no assurance that any investment plan or strategy will be successful.